All right, good afternoon, everybody. We're here for another Chamber of Commerce Ribbon Cutting. My name's Eric Dregney, and I do know that. And uh, <laughs> I'm the chairman of the board for the Dubuque Area Chamber of Commerce. And we're here today to celebrate a ribbon cutting for It's God's Green Earth. <laughs> and uh, we're here this afternoon with, uh, with George. And George, you're the owner of uh, It's God's Green Earth. And we're going to talk to you in a minute about uh, exactly what this business is. But before we do, uh, there's a few people who want to say some kind words to you, and one of them is Rick Jones, representing the city of Dubuque. Thank you, Rick. That, that, that's not even presumptive of you to say we're going to say kind words, because that's, that's all I brought. Um, I've known George for quite a while. He's, uh, he's a good guy. That's, uh, that's a good basis for, for being a good businessman. Um, but on behalf of the, the mayor and the city council, my colleague Joyce Connors is over here from the council. The 60,000 citizens of Dubuque and all the city staff, we want to welcome you to the business world. Uh, we want to thank you for sticking your neck up because the, the real commerce that goes on um, goes on just like that. People like yourself saying, I'm going to try this thing and you figure out how to capitalize and how to get it going and, and, and how, to, how to make it happen and succeed. And I, just knowing you, I know you're going to succeed because uh, you've got a pretty good work ethic. And uh, it looks like you've got a fantastic product. So what a great combination. Um, you're in good company here. All these people are pretty successful at what they do. And there's not a one of us in this room that you can't call if you've got a question about, about business or something that uh, maybe they can help you around the corner or whatever. But we wish you every success, and we thank you for sticking your neck out. Thanks, Rick. And uh, we've got a guy here who knows a little bit about doing things green. His name is Wayne Demmer, and he's representing the county of Dubuque. Thank you, Wayne. You know, Joyce is going to hold his side today. The Red Coats, everybody else does their form of advertising, so I'm going to make sure while I'm talking, this is close by. But anyway, George, on behalf of Dubuque County and myself, too, we'd like to congratulate you. Uh, I guess as a farmer, what you were talking about, the things that I think I try to do and a lot of people are trying to do is, is concern for what we do to the environment. And uh, what you were talking about with this product, I am aware of the company, as you said, that has started this year. So I think you're on the right track. I think people need to have an alternative uh, to anything out here. And I think this is another option that they have. So congratulations. Best of luck. Thanks, Wayne. Thanks, Wayne. And then uh, representing all of the fine people in the red coats today is uh, Brian Zeman. Well, congratulations, George, on becoming a member of the Chamber of Commerce, but more importantly on uh, becoming a business owner yourself. I've had the opportunity to get to know you just a little bit and found out that you're an entrepreneur, you had an idea, you had a dream, and uh, that's what America needs to keep rolling, and that's exactly what the um, business community at Dubuque has really thrived on. The people behind you, the folks in the red jackets, are your chamber ambassadors. Uh, we've all been in business or are in business right now, so as has been said previously, remember you can always call on us for any advice or suggestions. Uh, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the media package that's part of the um, membership here in your ribbon cutting. A uh, number of the folks who are chamber ambassadors are well connected in the media community. So uh, one of the things that's been a benefit to you is that your business in this ribbon cutting has been announced on the uh, digital billboards out on Highway 20, thanks to the folks at Lamar Advertising. Our friends over at Radio Dubuque uh, on their radio stations have been talking about your ribbon cutting all day, so you've been getting some nice exposure there. And the photos that uh, Sally's going to be taking are going to be incorporated in a TV advertising spot called Business Limelight that's going to run on the cable networks of Mediacom. You'll get at least 100 exposures on those cable networks, in addition to the video that will be seen uh, on cable and also be available, I believe, on YouTube. So it's a great media package. You combine all those things together. So thank you, Lamar, Radio Dubuque, and uh, on media and Mediacom for that uh, opportunity. I also wanted to present to you your certificate and plaque that was uh, actually designed by one of our chamber ambassadors, Gary Olson, and framed by our folks uh, at Bill Case Power at his business. And uh, it says, on the occasion of your ribbon cutting ceremony, it's God's green earth. We celebrate your success and the contributions you have made to Dubuque's economy and business community. I encourage you to hang that proudly in your place of business and uh, also wanted to pass on this uh, pretty little purple uh, container, if you will. <laughs> in there are the business cards of the folks that are here today. Okay. I know that a lot of these folks have lar yards and could really use your uh, services, so feel free to give us a call anytime. So congratulations, George. 
Good morning, my name is George Eichenberger, and it's God's Green Earth is the name of the company. And uh, what we are is a four-step lawn treatment service, uh, all natural, no chemical, no toxins. And this formula is of all liquid form. We come, we spray it on. It is sprayed on four times a season, early spring, early summer, late summer, fall. Uh, we spray it on uh, different applications for different reasons. Uh, in this program, uh, what we try to do is put all the essential elements, trace elements, back into the ground, uh, developing a good, strong, healthy soil, in turn getting a good, strong, healthy turf. Uh, if you have a weed in your yard, which you, you may say a dandelion or something like this, or two or three, chances are your soil is depleted of something, uh, some nutrient. And as far as a dandelion, it is depleted in, in uh, calcium. And you get the proper amount of calcium back in your lawn while you won't have the dandelions because that's not a place where they want to grow. By putting the essential elements, trace elements, back into the ground in developing this good, strong, healthy soil. You get the good, strong, healthy turf, a place where you basically uh, hit them with the good stuff. We don't, get, we don't kill a weed, we don't poison, we don't put chemicals down. What we do is, is develop a good, strong, healthy place for your grass to grow. And in turn, by doing that, we, it is very beneficial to the environment because what we're putting down uh, is non-toxic and will not harm you or your kids or your pets or the environment. It, it is good, good for everybody and everything living, plants, animals, people. Uh, with that in mind, uh, it, this process is based on square footage and uh, we were more than happy to come out and do a estimate on your lawn and, um, and give you a price on a product and, and doing your lawn. One, two, Three. Yeah. Three.